So years ago, I, I, I created these Sojourner tags. And uh, what's funny is that I got a copyright, a common law copyright on the Sojourner tags. And these tags, um, I had a whole bunch of them made years ago. By the way, Ron has been screaming at me to have motorcycle uh, uh, Sojourner tags um, created under the same copyright because... Did you read the FBI warning? Yeah, I didn't understand it. It's, that's a copyrighted private plate. Can I read the bin? You can. Cool, thanks. <clears throat> you, you used the FBI to get this, right? That's I didn't. The person that I obtained the plates from did. Which means that if they're a fictitious corporation, then this is got to be true. I don't think so. You can't have it both ways. Well, I, I understand no, that. You I'll, can't have I'll, it both ways. I'll have to ask that question. Yeah, so but it is copyrighted. So if, but if we're going to go that route, then in my eyes, that's fake too. This is actually really real, and you can we can call the FBI and ask them. Call them. Because it's registered oh. to the FBI. And what's the FBI going to say? They're going to tell you you probably have five minutes before you can't detain or put that plate into your computer system. Oh, I know. You want me to call them right now? I'm busy recording. Go ahead. Call them. <clears throat> we're, we're not going to do nothing to you, but I'll be willing to bet that they say you need to follow state and local jurisdiction. See? No, you're not going to win that argument. That's why you're not going to call them. It's okay. We're not going to do anything, but you're not going to win. <laughs> but 